draw a simple sketch, add a text prompt, and create amazing AI art. Let's find out how. One issue with AI tools is getting that image in your head onto screen. Tools like Mid Journey may create some great art, but it's not always what you intended to create. So here's a new tool I'd like to show you called Scribble Diffusion. And the idea of this tool is we can take a simple sketch, a simple doodle, and supply a small prompt, and we can create AI art. So in this example, the sun setting behind the mountains, and look at that, as if by magic, we have these mountains following this image really closely. So let's go for another example. So I'm gonna clear this one here and draw a very simple, <laughs> let's go for a cat. A cute cat. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. It matches it kind of closely. I'm not sure what the cat's sitting in, a small basket or something. Here's another tool called Flutter Scribble. Let's try a UFO in space. Really nice, you can see how it's mapped to the proportions. I like that one. Let's try a tiger in the woods, maybe some trees in the background. This is really pushing my artistic talents at this point. Really interesting. Slightly bigger body, but I love what it's done with the leaf behind. A classic flower. It's pretty cool, really colorful. Mapped to the proportions of the flowers I gave it. Added some extra ones. A castle on a hill. Oh, I really like that one. That's coming out really nicely. Let's try a fish in the sea, swimming in the coral, maybe with a cartoony style. Not bad. And let's finish off with a cute bunny rabbit. You can really see how that right ear is mapped to the proportions. So I want to take a minute to talk about the tech behind these tools. They're based on open source tool Stable Diffusion. Now Stable Diffusion's recently been enhanced with something called ControlNet. ControlNet is a way of giving us more control over how the images look by giving our prompts extra conditions in the form of images. So it's worth having a look at the GitHub page here to learn a bit more. So we can take things such as a human pose, line art, or scribble outlines, and ControlNet uses our input as an additional thing to guide the image generation. The scribble acts as a simple sketch that outlines the main features of the desired image. So what we've seen today is a new way to control AI images with different inputs rather than just prompts, which gives us a lot more control over the output. I'd encourage you guys to play with some of the tools or even download Stable Diffusion and have a play with that locally if you have a good graphics card. I've been Paul, this is Design Prompt, and I'll see you on the next one.